All right, so back when we were doing all the DRL sim pushes and we would be limited to one track or two years ago, we'd be limited to you know, say four or five tracks. I would notice that if I spent too much time flying one track, my brain would start to rely a little bit too much on muscle memory and I would stop actively flying the quadcopter. Here recently after Nats and once they announced the qualifier track, I've been putting a lot of packs through the multi-GP global qualifier, but I've got to the point to where I've kind of leveled off. I'm definitely getting a little more consistent on some moderately fast laps, but I'm not getting faster on the track and I'm making mistakes where I think my theory is that I'm just spending too much effort trying to remember reflex type of moves. So I deployed a trick that I first heard of from Nub, one of the fastest dudes on DRL. I believe he did this at International Open a couple years ago. What I did was I reversed my camera and I also reversed my roll and yaw inputs in my radio. So it's like I can learn this track all over again. I was pretty excited. The last two laps of the day were in the 15 second range, which is what I would consider my moderately fast laps. And I only put three batteries through this. So I'm probably gonna spend the next few days practicing this track like this. Then I might go back to the other one. But uh, I wanted to mix it up like this so that I'm not relying on muscle memory. You know, I'm, I'm actively flying the quadcopters through the track. So I do like the idea of grinding one specific track because I think it's important to practice fast. And if you switch up the track too often, you're flying at 80% too much in your practice. And so I like the idea of flying at 90 to 100% while you're practicing, but like I found on the multi-GP qualifier track, I think you can fly one track too much to where too much muscle memory involved. So just thought this was interesting. This is a 100% two spec multi-GP qualifier track that we will be running here in Moberly just under two weeks. So uh, if you're in the region, come check it out, get some times on the leaderboard and uh, we'll see how it stacks up later.